In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Justin Holiday and how he shoots the basketball. He is one of the top shooters in the NBA, so let's get down, let's check him out, let's see what he does right so that you can also shoot the ball amazingly as well. Let's get down, let's check him out. Okay, so in this first clip, he comes off of a DHO and he goes for that three-point shot. Obviously, he makes it. And what we are really wanting to look at here is, of course, his foot placement and how balanced he really is from this side angle. And what we can really see is that, yes, he is up on his toes. That is going to really engage his calves and Achilles, which is going to be essentially the springiness behind his jump. From there, what we can also see is that he kicks that right foot down. That stops his momentum in this direction and it redirects it up into his jump when he brings that ball from his gather up into his set point what we can really see is that he does not bend his elbow that much if any at all and that is very important you want to have the least amount of movement in your shot to be able to be more consistent in general that is going to help you become a better shooter we can also see that right about there is his set point which means that that ball is just above his forehead and that he has roughly a 45 degree angle on his elbow, 90 on his shoulder, and of course his elbow and shoulder being in line with the rim which is extremely important. We can see that he has very good energy transfer where his knees and hips extend at roughly the same time. He does have a slight angle on his body going towards the rim but that could be just because he was coming off of a DHO and needed the power. We can also see if we go back to a set point that there is a slight angle on his wrist so it's not a total straight wrist shot however that is something that does affect his shot he does have a soft release which is absolutely fantastic and we can see from this angle that of course he does have on a set shot his shoulders over his knees over his toes which is extremely important because that is going to allow him to get that balance into his shot he also drifts forward on this shot as well and sometimes in most cases actually usually when players drift forward they will have a less accurate shot because of course now they have to judge that yes they jumped the same distance forward or not in which case then they have to take or add power to their shot and then from this angle we can see that he does have that shoulder and elbow in line but also at least half of that ball is over top of that upper arm or shoulder which will create what I call the shooting triangle which will allow him to have that perfectly straight shot we can also see that he is slightly, ever so slightly tilted away from the basket. Same as his hips, his knees, and even his feet. And one thing that I really want to mention here is the fact that everything is pointing in the same direction. He doesn't have his shoulders and hips pointing one way and then his knees out pointing a totally different way or having everything in line except for one foot or one knee. You really want to have everything in line whether you are tilted away from the rim or squared up to the rim it doesn't necessarily matter. What matters is everything is in the same line and getting that shoulder elbow as well as that ball in line with the rim that is extremely important we can also see that he has very very slightly almost not a one motion shot he does freeze at the same point for about two frames however i would definitely say that that is a one motion shot and from this angle we can see from this clip at least he does not have a dip on the ball and a dip usually is like a backswing in golf where you kind of dip the ball and then go back up and some players will find that they are more accurate if they have a dip however he keeps it at his waist and then he lowers his entire body when he starts to extend for a shot that's when his knees hips and shoulders start lifting that ball up and it's all in one motion knees and hips extend at the exact same time he lifts off the ground it's kind of interesting how his feet don't fully extend which is actually quite interesting which to me tells me that he's getting more power from his upper legs and not necessarily his calves and Achilles and 
Of course, he has his elbow above his forehead, which will give him more arc on the ball. Plus, with that soft release that he has, he doesn't have a hard release where that ball will get more arc and is going to be a little bit harder to block, but also a lot easier to go in after taking that shot. He also has very good footwork here. He plants that right foot. He's able to swing that left foot around so that he can get that perfect release on that ball. Absolutely fantastic shooter. I hope that this video helps you be able to shoot the basketball better. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out the link down in the description below where I can break down your shot and give you workouts and drills to improve your shooting form as well as your shooting percentage. I hope that you've enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.